Good midday to everybody. I hope the volume's working out okay. I'm going to be doing a video in the future about uh, chemical imbalances. What makes me an expert? Well, it's not my uh, fancy book learning and my degrees that made me an expert. It's dealing with people on an everyday basis. It's seeing the world out there. It's having family members and understanding that aspect. It's working in the system as a grunt, seeing it firsthand, not, not on a piece of paper. The chemical companies, and I call them chemical companies, not pharmaceutical companies. The chemical companies built their industry on the back of antidepressant drugs. They created antidepressant drugs for depression that didn't exist. Now I say depression is that doesn't exist, the kind they wanted. I'm gonna go into detail about things that I'm sure you've heard and other people have, have uncovered, but I think I, I, I'm, I'd like to take a, a more of a Christian point of view and a biblical point of view and uh, approach this because these companies like Novartis and Glaxo, uh, uh, Smith and Klein, I think it was called, which was originally French, created things that caused imbalances to be able to use imbalances. When you're creating drugs to help with depression or sleepless nights, or how about sleepless nights but cause of depression? How about things that cause, uh, salt, that some, stumble on my words, that somehow solve depression but cause sleepless nights. And the way they take God's plants and mutilate them to take out certain parts of them to create drugs. I'm calling them drugs. Not helpful medicine. Drugs. And we have been conditioned for years to believe that we needed them. And, there's a, and it's a sensitive subject, and that's why I, I, I will do another video, and I will put it all out there, you know, line by line, because we all know someone, and Christians know people, and Christians, uh, some believe they have depression or, or problems. There is nothing that God can't fix. There is nothing God can't fix. Don't ever question God, why didn't you solve this? Maybe there's a reason. Maybe in some situations, you need it. I know that sounds crazy, like let's see, um, uh, somebody was mentioning, mentioning OCD to me, and I'm not gonna say how bad their life has been ruined by it, but I do also I would like to ask, is anything helpful come from it? Did you get your degree in college and wherever you went to because of the OCD? So I think we have to look at all aspects of things. Your violent temper that you have. People dealt with violence. I, I, I dealt with violent tempers. Sometimes I think I get a little angry sometimes, but years and years ago I was ready to fight all the time. And, and I, you know, I was told that I was crazy and that I had, there was something wrong with me and I needed meds and so forth. Until I gave my life completely to God. Completely to God. Not 80%. Not, not completely. Well this video went a little bit longer than I was going to make it. I was just giving a preview video of what I would like to talk about. So the chemical companies. And we'll get into what they originally were making. Chemicals. Your chemical companies decided to make pharmaceuticals chemical and the pharmaceuticals I just if you don't have a problem with that I, I don't know I just it's just so synthetic things instead of the actual plant but we'll get into that um, I appreciate you tuning in this video and uh, I, I will be making a much longer video uh, another point in time on this in my point of view and how what history says and what the Bible is and what it says Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. And as usual, God bless.